Simon, we're here at Freddy Products again today. This is a bit different to your usual uh, vacuums. You know, what's this all about? Okay, this is um, some work we've been doing over the last 12 months, and we're pleased to announce that we've been working with Rolls-Royce on it. It's called the Coolant Health Unit, and it's part of their um, sort of mission statement to improve sustainability in a more environmental uh, or positive message. Yeah, it's easy to say that sa that save the environment, but but how is this different to your other products, and how is it ultimately saving the environment? The big thing for us is uh, increased filtration by means of an extra basket placed on top here. Um, it allows us to sort of speed up the operation. Obviously, twice as effective. We can put two different filters in, so we can pull out uh, one size and then something slightly less underneath. Okay, so exactly that. So the the first filter would take out the larger particles. And, and, the, and the lower one would be a 20, 30 micron filter maybe? That is correct. So we can have a full range in here from a thousand or even down to one micron. Um, so that's the first part of it. Uh, we then have automation. So the, the customer at the moment with our machines would normally use it by using one or two people in operation. But this can actually be left by itself to uh, run uh, for any period that the customer wishes fully automatic. So the environmental impact, it's obvious, but how about other things like you know, tool life and things like this. Yeah, if we can get those fines out of the uh, the coolant, as you know, then there's less abrasion in terms of on the tool. There's less effect on the higher pressure uh, pumps. There's obviously benefits for the operator because the, the, the dermatizers that people talk about can be from the abrasions. It's fines within the liquid that are getting rubbed on the hands. So uh, lots of positives for the customer. And we've talked about Rolls-Royce, you know, how have they quantified the saving? Is it in the, the amount of pounds or the amount of waste they've avoided? We've got both. Um, we can give you an example. I mean, they started one machine on the 12th of August. Um, in four weeks of running, they had saved 24,000 litres by that, you know, not being taken away. That's quite profound. That's 24 IBCs when you think about it. In terms of financial numbers, with the uh, the um, less amount of oil that's been brought in and not taking away off site, that's nine thousand um, pounds. They reported in in saving, so that's really really good numbers. Well, that's astonishing to be honest with you. But that's Rolls Royce. How about SMEs? The UK is made up of thousands of SMEs, other OEMs as well. So, what happens for s smaller machine shops? There is no reason why this machine can't not be used for other people. I mean, if if Rolls Royce are um, trying to reduce their waste uh, imprint uh, by 25 percent other people will probably take that message and try and do the same i think it's a very responsible thing that everybody should do so the machine can be scaled back and and doesn't have to be this large it could be in theory done on 50 liters for that smaller um, outfit so to me it's a no-brainer you know the environmental impact you know it's massive but obviously there's a, there's a financial payback to this as well isn't there Potentially. I mean, for the one example and for the 12 months working um, with Rolls-Royce, we could potentially get a saving quite quickly within four weeks and the machine's paid for itself. And we can do that with any other Freddy utilising this same principle. That was my next question. What happens if last month I bought a Freddy, I'm really happy with it and I'm watching this video thinking, crikey, I wish I'd have waited. That's right up my street. Well, we have thought about that and we'll probably do another video with you. Uh, very soon where this second filtration can be adapted to any Freddy right back to 1970. So can you talk us through it? How does it differ to your other units? Okay, so we mentioned about the twin filtration. So let's take that apart so we can see first of all. We'll take the lid off. This for any other Freddy user is just what they do already. Inside we have our filter and filter basket and that is just the same as the other units. And then what we can do is we can take this turret off. And there is our second filter basket with another bag in. And that again will come out. So it's those two baskets that are capturing our finds. And we can put into that 1,000 micron at the top, 100 micron, but generally get the top one taking out the majority and letting this do the sort of polishing underneath. You talk about automation, Simon. What do you mean? We have an auto mode on the machine that allows us to put in two pickups. They're based on, uh, they have a magnet. We drop one in one side of the sump, one in the other. The machine will then operate through its cycle of vacuum and discharge by itself. You don't need an operator, so that's great. 
manpower can go and do something else within the shop and then the machine can be just left to do the dialysis of the sump, reducing that uh, contaminant. Why the need for two outlets? We normally have one outlet on every Freddy, as you know, um, using conventional discharge gun. But with the Rolls-Royce uh, development on here, they wanted to get a washing lance so they could reach in and break up some of the hard pack that was found in the sumps. So that's why we came up with uh, another gun on the other side. So looking at this project, Simon, you're going to save the environment and money. Yeah, it's kind of win-win, isn't it? I think it is a win-win. Yeah, I mean, with the world the way it is, the saving, the environmental benefits, we can help anybody no matter what the size. If you've got a machine from 1970 to the present day, we can apply this same principle so that you can make the savings.